let's talk about um, let's talk about remarketing, Chris. What surprised me about remarketing here as we record this is that I am surprised remarketing still works. And I'm being facetious there because I'm not surprised it still works because it's remarketing. <laughs> but I'm surprised in the sense that there's no drama with it. 2020, 2021, all we heard about was cookies. Don't hear about cookies so much anymore. But all we heard yeah. about was cookies and Google's taking away cookies. This company's taking away cookies. Cookies are the past. Privacy, blah, blah, blah. And a lot of people were like, well, how are you going to do remarketing without cookies? And then I got on here and I said, who cares? There's still going to be remarketing. I don't care how it's done. That's not my business. They'll figure it out. And it seems to be like they figured it out because I don't hear about cookies anymore. I don't know if they're still there. I don't know if they went away. I could not care less. You know, it's you not said, my business. I'm so glad you said that cookies. right. Could not care less. All I know is I run remarketing campaigns. I make sure it's real remarketing and just pure remarketing. And guess what? We get impressions and clicks and we grow our awareness. The search traffic gets better because people see us out there more on yep. display and we also get direct conversions oftentimes not all the time but oftentimes from oftentimes from remarketing and it still works it's still the same remarketing i'm yeah. seeing similar performances i did in the past i could not tell you if there was a difference i could not tell you if cookies are here or there um, but why are you happy to hear me say that chris yeah, I, I agree. You know, it's sometimes in Google Ads, it's it's nice to remember what hasn't been changed and what hasn't been taken away um, because there's plenty that we can cry about. But you're right. Remarketing is still remarketing. Um, there's very few things that have gone unchanged. And if you want to do remarketing, you can you can still do it in the same way. And, and, and in reality, with a tag manager, and sometimes it's there's even some automated audiences that are created for you. Uh, you know, Google, uh, the Google ads system will actually keep its own audience within Google ads and without even using uh, analytics and turn it on and it works. Very simple, mm -hmm. very straightforward. It's always been like that. And I have uh, said it many times, but I think the little bit of money that you invest in remarketing is the best dollar for dollar return that you can get in Google ads, because we yeah. both know people can waste five bucks a click very easily on stupid clicks, gone, 30 gone. bucks, gone, just like that. But when it comes to remarketing, a couple pennies here and there, it's still someone who's been to your website recently. And, and most of the time it. they're just seeing your ad and not even clicking just, yeah. and it's free. Those just impressions free are free billboards. until someone clicks, yeah. Free digital billboards all over wherever you want to show it. How is that a waste? Even if it doesn't show conversions, still worth it. And and one thing I just want to point out to people is don't get married to the 30-day default time period. If your hmm. sales cycle is longer, you can make your remarketing list bigger if you open it up to people who've been on your site 60 days, within the last 60 days, within the last 90 days. I think yeah. it goes up to a year and a half or something like that. Yeah, like uh, 500 540 days or days. something. Yeah. yeah. So don't get married to that 30 days. And and if your sales cycle is smaller, you can and you can keep a hundred people on your remarketing list for display, you can go with um go with a uh, shorter than 30 day yeah. time period if you, you want. You can have to. multiple. You can have different you can have multiple, see how they perform, bid differently for them. Yeah. Um, and one other thing you can do, Chris, is um I've disrespected the strategy. I feel bad about it. I have not done it enough. Oftentimes it's because you can't, it's hard to get a thousand people on your remarketing list. But if you have that amount on your list, you can do remarketing for search and then you can loosen up your keyword targeting because you know, those people, as long as they're searching for a topic that's related to your topic, they've been on your site in the last X amount of days. Uh, you can feel comfortable showing to them on those looser keywords strategy. I learned from the great Chris Schaefer. Um, Chris, I mean, this episode is inspiring to me. This episode is a genius episode that I created. Again, it's all about being humble. So but humble, it yeah. really, <laughs> it really so is. Um, it's a good snapshot of how interesting the Google advertising, the Alphabet advertising ecosystem is, how dynamic it is, how it's always changing. And again, bullish. I'm bullish on the future. How how mu how much further we have to go here in terms of getting in front of the exact right person at the exact right point in time um, in more and more places where they are, where Google has um, availability there. I think it's, there's a lot of cool stuff going on and um, especially on YouTube. I think YouTube is, it's su such a 
runaway success. And I think it's still, there's a long way to go in terms of the way Alphabet can monetize it. So, yeah. Yep. For as long as it sticks around, that's one thing we haven't talked about. It, uh, what's that? YouTube and Google ads might be breaking up just from governmental, um, oversight there. That's something gonna... that's been in the news. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to keep it positive. I think it okay. makes sense for YouTube to be inside of Google it, ads. Oh, it, it makes sense. It helps us. But... It helps advertisers. It helps Google. It helps uh, people on YouTube like us. We're on YouTube. You know, yeah. we make money from YouTube uh, with ads and stuff. So um, I, I'm positive. I don't I don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to keep it positive. I'm going to okay. create the future by being positive and positive. Uh, I That's think we'll 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 figure that out. You know, well, people that don't want it to be together, we'll sit down, we'll have a conversation. We're all reasonable, and we'll how we'll are figure you it involved out. with that exactly? We'll figure it out, Chris. Don't <laughs> we'll worry. We'll figure about it, it out. Okay. Okay. Yeah.